Hello friends, in this video, we will discuss about the ESIC reservation for UG courses to get the admission into MBBS, BDS and BSc nursing in ESI Medical Colleges through NEET UG 2024. Most of the students, they don't have much idea about this ESIC reservation, even though they are eligible to get the admission in ESI Medical Colleges through this ESIC quota. To help those people, I want to give a brief introduction about this ESIC reservation and I will explain you the process of how to get this ESIC reservation to get the admission in ESI Medical Colleges. So to get this ESIC reservation, the student first initially has to get the IP certificate from ESIC official website. Here you can see this is the official website link www.esic.gov.in. So with the help of that IP certificate and based on the merit score, you will get the CT allotment in these UG courses in ESI Medical Colleges. Now we should see the official website page. Here you can see so many notifications we have. We should click on this admissions tab. Then you can see the notifications regarding this admission process. These are the list of notifications so you can see here the recent notification which is related to this MBBS, BDS and BSc nursing course to, to utilize this ESIC reservation is on March 1st, 2024. You click on this notification, then you can see one PDF. In that PDF, you can read all the details. This is the pre-admission notification they have given on March 1st regarding the admission process for this MBBS, BDS and BSc nursing in ESIC colleges and also in some government medical colleges under seats allocated for part of IP for the academic year 2024 to 25. Here you can see so many steps they have given. The first one is the applications will be invited from eligible boards of insured persons under ESIC scheme. The second one is eligibility conditions and the number of seats will be available in ESIC.gov.in official website they mentioned. The third point is applicants are advised to visit check the ESIC website regularly for further details and instructions. So every day you have to visit at least once the ESIC official website and also you have to visit the MCC official website. This is the official website to conduct the All India Counseling to provide the city allotment in ESIC Medical Colleges. Next, the online link will be given through insured person portal login tab window available at ESIC website. Here, this is the official website already we know from this you will get the online link to get the IP certificate. IP certificate means insured person certificate. With this IP certificate only, you have to appear for All India Quota Counseling to get the admission in ESA colleges and in some government medical colleges. Next one, fifth point is all the interested eligible persons are advised to ensure that their personal family dependent data is correct in the IP portal. So to get this IP certificate, first you have to make sure that your data is correct or not. Otherwise, your application will be rejected to get the IP certificate. Okay. Next, the personal details of a dependent for whom the part of IP certificate is required must be correct match with the NEET UG 2024 application form. The students, those who are applying for IP certificate, you should make sure that data entered in NEET examination should match with the data entered in IP portal to get the IP certificate. Okay. Next, candidates will be allotted seats based on their merit come difference of instructions through a centralized online counseling to be conducted by the Directorate General of Health Sciences or Medical Counseling Committee, MCC. So, based on the merit only, they will give the CT allotment to get the admission into UG courses like MBBS, BDS and BSc Nursing through DGHS or MCC. That means the Director of General Health Sciences are Medical Counseling Committee. These committees are conducting the R India Quota Counseling. That is also called as a centralized online counseling. Okay. The last one is all process actions undertaking regarding admission under seat allocated for quota of IP would be subject to final outcome before the honorable high court of Madras only. Suppose if a student has any issues, they have to attend only before the honorable high court of Madras only. There, there only you have to clear your issues. Next, what is the eligibility criteria to get the ESIC quota? The first one is what of ESIC employees will be eligible. That is the ESIC employees' children are eligible to get the ESIC quota. 
Next, what of ESS insured persons? Not only employees, the people, those who are paying ESI, their children also eligible to, to get the ESIC quota. Next, get IP word certificate from ESIC website. So these two categories of students, they have to get the IP word certificate from ESIC website only. This IP word certificate you have to upload during the All India Quota Counseling to get the admission in ESI colleges. Next, admission process. The first step is, first you have to apply for Quota of IP certificate. Then register for All India Quota Counseling through www.mcc.nic.in. The third one is seat allotment based on need score. For the ESIC eligible candidates based on need score, they will provide the seat allotment in ESI medical colleges. The fourth one is after allotment of seat, demand draft DD of 24,000 run in favor of ESI fund. Account number two, payable at city where the college is located. In which city or college you had the seat allotment, on that city name only, you have to take the demand draft with 24,000 rupees. Okay. Next one. Reservation policy for SC, ST, OBC, PHE and EWS category students. So in counseling process for ESIC quota students also, they followed the reservation policy of the central government for SC, ST, OBC, PHE and EWS category students to get the seat allotment. Thank you.